Oh, you're diving. He's diving. He's nose diving. He's diving. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Everyone thinks you just need to know how to shoot in the military. That's like 5% of what the entire package of a warfighter is. Oh, man. Did he's on fire. Oh, Extinguish no, the fire. Pat yourself. Stop, stop dropping roll. Stop drop roll. roll. What a sh show. I'm in the bushes. Hey, Great way to start. Hey. We in Africa? I love it. Oh, man. Look at this. I've got a little scoped bolt action rifle here. Oh, get him, boy. I love the old scope coming around, that, like that kind of that arm attachment with the scope. I mean, compared to World War II games that we've seen so far, like Hell Let Loose and, uh, you know, Vanguard, what do you think about this one so far, Izzy? I'm liking the, the African setting. It's a turkey shoot! It's a, <laughs> it's, they're all stand there. Don't line up, you guys! Just stay alive. I'm dead. Uh, oh man, that was a good shot. I like the movement. It looks like they got some historical accuracy with the weapons and the uniforms. Yeah, and it looks very, very crisp. It, it looks like they put a lot of effort into the actual graphics of the game and the terrain. I love the terrain. You can see the buildings and almost guess the material they're made out of, which I think is, you know, super awesome. Oh yeah, look at these guys. They're all just lining up. That's why you don't know, group, baby. <laughs> oh, you space yourselves out. Oh, it hurts. I love those helmets. There he is, right in the butt. Squad system. Oh god, the tank. All right, they're mobile. Oh, here comes the tank. Uh oh, you got a tank coming in. Oh, oh poor buddy. Stuff. Yeah, you're gonna have to, yeah start obscuring you guys. Come on, throw some smokes. There you go. Let it bellow. I like the guy running with getting ready to throw that grenade. Did that sound like a tank exploding? Yes, it was. Honestly, he is racking them up in this. Yeah, position. the enemy is winning. Get it together. That guy is a mass. This is like Barry Pepper from Saving Private Ryan. That with that sniper rifle. Left. Yeah, do you reckon we can get right? Yeah, look at those shorts, man! It's almost like the Cell of Scouts from Rhodesia a little later in time, but I'm a big fan of the short shorts. To get murked by a dude in short shorts, oh, what an honor. You'll never get to Valhalla. Left hand side. Yeah, yeah, I see. Not guy in Going internal. Here we go, here we go. Not okay, really clearing his corners. Clear. He's getting kind of quick. Going through kind of oh, quick. Oh, here we Whoa! go. Whoa! Was that an oh. air raid? What was that? Yeah, a little bit of a gun run. Hell yeah. Danger close though, within 600 meters, but that's okay. One of my red markers is oh, I see, downstairs, yeah. out of the building to the left. He's in good yeah, communication. Like I like out it. Targets here, yeah. And now I've just been killed. Oh, oh. oh. boom! Heinrich huh? Sterling. We're just gonna, I'm just going for the island. Oh, you can swim in this one. It looks like uh, you're not really encumbered by your equipment. Something like yeah, hell I mean, I mean, looks obviously, like you were drowned pretty easily. You got a little motor on the boat. Hey. Get in the boat, boys! Come on. Nice. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of combat equipment weighing these guys down, other than the rifle and the canister on their back, and maybe some Alice webbing hanging off their belt there. Everyone sits so politely, they've got their knees pulled up. It's uh, very nice. Crisscross applesauce, dude. It's good. Israel, have you done any swimming in your time with uh, with a rifle before? Swimming with a rifle? We did some river crossings that were pretty deep, but no, no swimming. We never really did a lot of swimming with a weapon. I had to do some swimming with a weapon before for like a, a PT test before I went to mm. ranger school, which was totally not what we needed to do, but they did it anyways. And it's actually extremely challenging. And I mean, for me, it was challenging because our tests was you needed to hold the rifle above your head out of the water while you're swimming. And man, just doing that, oh man. And it was in full uniform too. So like you have your, you know, your multi-cams dragging you down in the water and you had, uh, I, I believe we had boots on as well, as well as a, a rifle above our head. So that was extremely challenging. Oh, he's dead. He's throwing a grenade at me. Oh, he threw a grenade right back at you. Whoa, oh, I like the destruction of the, uh, almost took down that the wall. terrain. That's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, even just having one rifle with you, and you think you're- Oh, yeah! Thank you for helping my- Oh, my gosh! I thought you died. The job is taking over! Get him, dude. Okay, reload. Put a new strip in. Oh. Teammates with me. Oh, oh no. nope, not today. This is just a action-packed game, huh? Oh, look at the Yeah, long it's funny because even though here. the movements, like the terrain, the decorations, uh, all looked pretty well detailed, like kind of something like Hell Let Loose, uh, boy, it just seems a whole lot more chaotic. Maybe it's just the gameplay we're seeing. Get some of those grapes. Oh my god. Get together. If I had a scoped carbine, I'd be a little bit more at a distance here. Ooh, nice. Can the train run you over? <laughs> I like how the sight changes a little bit, depending on how you move when you're aiming down the scope. Yeah, it's not just like you can make it steady, as steady as can be by holding an analog stick. Does tank see us? 
Hey, get in the bush. Get in that concealment. I mean, it's not going to stop bullets, but hey, they won't be able to see you. Wait, this guy's repairing his tank. I killed him. Oh, nice. God is that. <laughs> Good job, soldier. Gunner is still in, I think. Uh, yeah, Gunner is still in there. You, wanna, you guys got any anti-tank munitions on you? Yeah. I'm going to take down that tank. I like the different theaters of war you can be in. We were in Africa, and now we're like in the countryside in Europe. If this was me, I'd be really taking a step back just because... You got the, you know, the reach of the scoped carbine, and you can also, oh no, you missed that shot. You can also provide really good overwatch and communication to a maybe assaulting element. Because um, it looks like the communication in the game is pretty thorough as far as just, uh, it's not like proximity chat. It's like you are talking to your team. Yeah, no matter where they are. And it looks like you got a mini map there at the bottom there to kind of help keep track. Because I, I thought this guy was like all alone. That would be so nice in real life to just have a mini map <laughs> that tells you where everyone is. <laughs> I know. He's shooting your body and and I got, him. I got him. Ooh, nice headshot. Boom! There he is. Get him. No, you missed him. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Oh, he's down. He's down. Floppy. Get in the prone. Yeah. Use your micro terrain. I'm dead. I kind of I kind of fumbled the bag. I'm I'm, I'm fumbled the bag. <laughs> That's right. Take responsibility, man. It's okay. Learn from your mistakes. You gotta silhouette yourself real hardcore. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm on the roof. Yep, me too. Boom! That guy's... Oh, how did he miss that? Yep, let's go. Yes, enjoy the kill! Enjoy the carnage! We're racking them up, boys. I love those train tank setups that they had going along the rails. Oh, God, here they come! Boom! Uh-oh. I got the... <laughs> Took out that TC. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. No! Ooh, he just swacked no! you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, nice. We got Thompson now. We're going. Yeah, we're going. Oh, no, B.A.R. Browning automatic rifle. Oh, what a legendary weapon. I would love to own a BAR. I saw a couple of modern ones at SHOT Show last year, man. They look pretty amazing. Yeah, dude. BAR is such an iconic weapon system. Do you think they did a lot of CQB or, you know, um, urban combat style training? Oh, no, he's been glitched. He's in the Matrix. Well, you know, in from what I know about training, you know, they needed troops really bad. So, like, you would do basic and then get shipped off to, you know, Europe to where maybe you would do another you know, FTX in uh, in London or in England before you pushed out. Because uh, I know they did a lot of rehearsals before D-Day stationed out of England. But, you know, as far as just like really becoming combat effective and doing that training, I'm not too sure how much time they really had for just a basic troop coming out of basic. I don't, I don't know if it was like Vietnam where, you know, we watch Full Metal Jacket where they, they finish basic training and boom, they're in Vietnam, you know? <laughs> yeah, it just kind of jumps. Folks, let us know in the comment section, tank transport on the rails, on the train, like, is that like a troop transport or something? Because it had a, a turret on top, and it looked like it's some room for some troops inside, man. I'd like to know a little bit more about that, because I'm sure those were well used and probably big targets in the war. He died. I killed him. There's a tank on the main ship. Okay, there's a tank. He sees you, bro. Oh, there's a guy in the... Ooh. Don't just run across an open area like that. Come on, what are you doing? Find some cover and concealment. Good call, perfect. Got him. Boom, got him. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, that is. There's no fixing that. Got him. Oh, that was a clean shot. Oh, really? He missed? Mark. There. To me, the break was good. It was a good break. Yeah, so chaotic, man. Right Boom, through. got him. It's good, man. I'm sure glad that this soldier was enlisted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, guy in the farthest right wind. It's very proficient with this scoped carbine. Oh, oh man. Well, somebody else is more proficient. Uh, uh, yep. Is this a Sten gun? Rip them. Rip them. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm sure they learned pretty quick moving through uh, urban areas <laughs> what were the best tactics, or they learned from other people's mistakes. Absolutely. I mean, it was funny because, you know, even modern day, I had a squad leader that came from the big army, and he we would talk about differences in room clearing from, like, and he was in during of Afghanistan so he's been in for a for a quite some time um and he was talking about he'd be like yeah back then you just you know try to get as many people in the room as you could at one time and there was <laughs> it wasn't like you no know, four to a room you know two to clear four to establish that L shape for you know dominating the room he's just like yeah we just pile everybody in there because you know they can't kill us all <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully tactics have evolved since then. MG28, MG28, it looks like what the guy has. Rip through that door, yeah, clear by wow. fire. Wow, wow. Oh, this dude has got a wave of Germans coming at him. 
Oh! Killed by the bold action, boy. Look at that magazine. Reloadings for the birds. You wake oh, window. Oh, oh not, not good enough, though. Yeah, this is why you always have to need a base of fire covering your maneuver, man. Just running up there is going to get you schwacked. He came in running with a knife. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, come oh, on, no, look out! Your butt! Oh, shot in the butt. Oh, oh he almost shot his teammate there. He got yeah. lucky. A bit fracture side, maybe. I'm scared, Brian. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Well, you can be scared. Don't let it stop you, though. Don't be scared. Oh, man. Dude, He's on fire. Oh, Extinguish no, the fire. Pat yourself. Stop, stop, drop, stop, drop, roll. Roll. stop drop and roll. Stop drop and roll. What a sh**, yo. You just got enlisted. Close. Guy on the roof. I okay. Coming through. Oh, what do we got here, man? Nice. Yeah, what is this? Browning. Uh, it's like it was, a browning. Yeah, BAR with the bipod. Nice. Ooh, nice. That's pretty close to friendly fire. I like that. Get him. One meter off your friendly's barrel, dude. Oh, no! man, killed by some airstrikes, dude. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is kind of chaos. Like, you are, you know, the second you die, you are spawning right back in. This is pretty hot and heavy. I like that aspect of it. There's no breathing time, you know? Yeah, no, you're, it's just action, action, action. I wonder if this game mode's by kills or is holding objectives. Yeah, strategic zone captured. One left. Right. Domination. He's crazy, man! Put him down! I love you, man, but you're crazy. Crazy, man. All right, let's see what we can make happen here. Let's see if we can catch people off guard. This is why cardio is so important, folks. Because your large flanking maneuver is going to be a large flanking maneuver. It needs to happen quickly. Everybody's huffing and puffing at this point. I can't imagine the stamina it would take to not just do this but then you're on to the next one man maybe a little bit of rest and relaxation then you're moving to the next town i mean this is why physical fitness is so important in the military it's like a lot of people think like oh it's just for pt tests it's like no it completely translates to the job because not only in one engagement are you running under you know under load all your combat equipment you're running hundreds of meters in the field environment you don't have proper nutrition you know you're not getting ample sleep you know you have water but i mean it's not, you know, you're just trying to stay hydrated at this point. So everyone thinks you just need to know how to shoot in the military. That's like 5% of what the entire package of a warfighter is. Yeah, there's a lot of skills you got to train up when you're in the military. Especially when you're out, you're out there on the front lines, infantry, any combat arms unit. If you're not on a deployment, you're getting ready to deploy. You're coming back from a deployment or you're training in something. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, physical fitness is the easiest thing to train because you can do it at any time. So there's no excuse. No excuses. All right, what do those dials mean? Uh, this is my first time. <laughs> right now, not later. Let's go gun oh, run. Oh, you're diving. He's diving. He's nose diving. He's diving. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Banzai! This game is intense, man, especially with a, uh, you can be a ground troop, a tanker, or in a plane. Golly, there's lots to do. He oh. just killed the last. <gasps> no, a guy just came in the bottom and killed two of them. Boom. Right in the building. I love that. All these ancient buildings. I feel so bad for Europe in this time, man. These families living in these old houses for generations and then... Oh, flamethrower! There's one guy. He's on fire. Top five ways that I do not want to die. Yep, don't wear those uh, synthetic clothing. Note to self, don't die that way. And the good thing is, like, a lot of these uniforms back in the day were made of wool. Synthetic material catches, you know, like, some tinder. So to be wearing, you know, wool is actually really good because it's very flame resistant. Nope. All right, looks like we're in a tank now. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, being in a tank, in one sense you're like, you feel like invulnerable, but on, in the other sense, man, you, one thing goes wrong and you're just like done, man. You're either stuck, a tread comes off, somebody oh, hits you with go. a certain send it, round. Send it, send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. Let's go, baby. Let's send it, dude. You got everybody over there. Can we shoot something? Boom. Yeah! Oh, reload that tank, dude. Right there. I would send around right through that little keyhole. Yeah, they're all kind of gathered around doing? that area. <laughs> Triple kill, double kill. There he is. Line him up. Line him up. Boom. This guy's taking fools out. That's a quick reload speed. I'm uh, pretty proud of that tank crew. Yeah, the tank crew's hustling and bustling. All right, we're mobilizing. Get I'm behind the tank, bro. Concealment. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, it could be moving you... cover and concealment. Moving cover. They're right there to the right, to the right. Boom. Uh, I would not want to have a flamethrower strapped to my back back then, man. You're just like a, a walking tank of gasoline. 
a walking candle just waiting to get lit. Yeah, what do they have in those things? Kerosene, gasoline? Right. right there, send it. Boom, send it. Oh, the oh, tank. Oh, yeah, get that tank. tank, baby. Oh, he took you, too. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Look out. He's going to fire. Yeah, there he is. got him. Boom, got him. He got him. This is why it's all a game oh, of angles. Oh, he's right uh -oh. up on you, baby. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. No tracks. It's just wheels. Oh, no. No, he's not. Who can reload faster? Who <laughs> Damn, this, this thing guy. can take some munitions, dude. Maybe, yeah. There it oh, is. You, got him. Uh, you can fix it with a repair kit from outside. You gotta jump outside to fix it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool feature. Did you ever have a desire to to be on a tank crew? Because, I mean, there's a mystique about it. There's kind of this sexiness to being in a tank crew. But, you know, after talking with uh, Shelby Bragg, you know, he's like, now is not the time of the tank. You know what I mean? Like, I would have much rather been where I was at. Yeah, I wanted to be a real soldier. I didn't want to be a tanker. <laughs> All love to my tank crews out there. But yeah, it's like we're kind of, we're not in the era of the tank anymore, really. Yeah, Rolling through, baby. Things. Yeah, whoa. Rolling thunder. Man, go watch out for those sticky bombs. I like the little readout you got when you get in the tank. It looks like you can see, I don't know, is that damage or something like that? Where you're weak, strong, your orientation of the tank. I'm guessing if you spend a lot of time in a tank, you just kind of get that stuff by feel. Whoa! Oh, okay. whoa! Where's that coming from? Yeah, who who sent that? Left looks good. Oh, a couple guys left. Ooh, yeah. Let's level this building, boys. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you better get out of here. <laughs> he was like, whoop! Turned right around. Grenaded. Oh, oh shoot! The shoot. Shit. They're on our left. Oh, they're coming in! Oh man, they're let them get they're on you. Mobilizing. Ya. Oh no! Yeah, they got they're coming up like flies on <laughs> right now. Kill Fury! Ooh, that dude just got what a way no! to go! Uh oh, Brad Pitt! Come on, he's... Nope. So close. No! Oh no! No! Oh, oh come on! You better get oh, him where he go! Man. Oh, I cannot believe that guy got away. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna come back. I already know. That's on you, tank crew. That's on you. Can you get on? I wonder yeah, in this game, can you get on top of the tanks and kind of? I'm sure you can plant some sort of, you know, explosive to tanks. Oh, get him! He's in the open. Come on, get him! Get him! Get him! Oh! I mean, this tank crew—they are holding the line right now. <laughs> Where is the line? You said Brad Pitt, man. This is fury moment. Okay, got it. I mean, tank coming in. Oh, Ooh. they're coming in, baby. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Reload, reload. Um, They're reorienting on us. Boom, let's go. Two more. Ooh, Here we go. Getting a little Whoa. hazy there. Getting a little hazy. Oh! oh, no. Tank buster. Definitely a lot of action going on in this game, for sure. One of the most action-packed World War II shooters I've seen. What do you think, Israel? It was so chaotic, man. Yeah, really uh, stress-inducing, but also very exciting. And it looks like you had a lot of cool options, like you could go ground infantry, tank, you could be in the air. Uh, pretty awesome, man. Pretty chaotic. Yeah, I mean, this gameplay was super fun to watch. You know, I could definitely see myself playing this game. That's why you go enlisted and not officer. <laughs> that's right, if you want the real action. Well, Gameologists, that's all the time we have for this episode of Experts React. Thank you so much for joining us on the gameplay of Enlisted. We had a absolute blast. That wasn't a pun. Absolutely, yes, it was. Make sure you are following Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. Folks, if you want to hang out with me a little bit more, head on over to twitch.tv slash myhappyself. You can also find us on YouTube at Shift Fire and Exploration and Appreciation of Military Culture.